Hello Internet, welcome to yet another video. In today's video, I'll show you how you can safely dual boot macOS and Windows on your machine. For this guide, we are using OpenCore. We will need Hackintosh, USB drive with Windows on it, and a little bit of patience. Go to your Hackintosh, open Disk Utility, click on View, and then Show All. Select the name of your drive and then click on partition and partition again so we can make Just a quick note, you will not be able to resize the partition afterwards without erasing everything mm -hmm. So choose an amount of space you will think that is enough for Windows installation. When you're done formatting the partition, reboot and enter your USB flash drive. The Windows installation will start. Click next. And we need to go to the section where we select our disks. Click delete. Select OK. We need to head back to the first setup page. Click Shift plus 10. Open terminal. Select this part. This to disk. Select disk 0. Create partition EFI size equal 100. Format quick FS equal FAT32. Label equal in quotes system. Assign letter equal in quotes S. Create partition MSR size equal 16. Create partition primary. Format quick FS equals NTFS space label equals in quotes Windows. Then we need to assign a letter. Assign letter equal in quotes W. And after that, we need to check our volumes. Type in list volume. And we need to select and remember the USB. Currently, mine is in volume 5 with assigned letter A. Remember that. So, this is your USB. Then we can exit this part and we will type in a few long commands dism slash 
get WinInfo, WinFile y Sources install.win. After that, we need to select which windows we want to install on our machine. In my case, it is Windows Pro. So DISM, apply image, image file, E, where E is our USB, sources, install.win, SWM file, E, sources, install win, index 6, where index 6 is our preferred version of Windows, and then we need to apply dir to W. It's going to take some time. After that, BCD boot Windows slash S V F U E five. When the operation is complete, you can exit the terminal and reboot your system. After rebooting, you can unplug your USB and select your OpenCore Boot Manager. You will see the Windows logo and after that you can continue Windows installation as normal. After installing it, let's check what has happened. We're booting fine on macOS. And we're booting fine on Windows. Thank you for watching, I hope you learned something today, if you have, feel free to share and subscribe to the channel.